tip trends from the past that are super popular today. So let's talk about the 70s and the style that defined it all, flare jeans. This was my love language as a girl growing up in the 70s. I lived for flared pants and in fact, I think I had a pair of corduroy ones that I never took off. Back then it was worn with ponchos, crocheted tops, frilly crop tops, and clogs. It had a definite boho kind of vibe. I love these because flared pants are super flattering on all body types. They counterbalance the hips more so than any other jean cut. Pair your flared jean with a fun printed blouse, half tucked. I love this playful dotted print, which actually has a retro feel to it as well. If your blouse has long sleeves, you can always roll up the cuffs a bit, and you can pair this with any number of shoes, like a pointy toed pump or a heeled clog. I find that people are either team clog or not, and I happen to love them. Do a fitted jacket topper and a slouchy bag, and you're all set. Up next is the 80s, and you can't talk about style in the 80s without mentioning poofy sleeves. Puffy sleeves were a power move where the more volume meant you commanded the room. Padded shoulders, lame fabrics, all of this really was to make shoulders a statement. They were pervasive. We saw puffy sleeves on dresses, blouses, jackets, you name it. We've been seeing a rebirth of puffy sleeves hit fashion for a couple of seasons now, but it's really having its moment in the spotlight. Whereas in the past, it was all about the more volume, the better. Today, consider wearing a poofy sleeve in balance with other separates. Wear it with slim fitting pants or as a dress with nice volume in the shoulders and then slim sleeves or a tapered dress silhouette. If you have a shorter neck like I do, you wanna wear your hair back or in a low bun so you don't look like it's all sleeve and no neck. To introduce some angles, I put this together with a pointy toed heel. And finally, the 90s. Back then, a lot of people wrote off the grunge style as a teen fashion statement of that time as disheveled graphic tees and oversized sweaters and shredded jeans and Converse or combat boots. But were they onto something? As we emerged from COVID a little bit ruffled and a little disheveled and we're refusing to take off our leisure wear, are we really that different? With a few modifications, it's an appealing style for today because it embraces functionality, soft fabrics, and a loose silhouette. I love this oversized striped sweater, a little long in the arms, a little long on the torso, to that, I added a knitted skirt with a little tie detail, and you can also do a plaid skirt here or some gentle distressed jeans. I love a high top sneaker or any kind of kickers to add some detail to the bottom half. Just for a little drop of color, I'm popping in my blue vintage crossbody bag. It's a really versatile look that's ultimately really comfy, cozy, and practical. I hope you're having fun with your style no matter what decade inspires you. 